Now to breaking news. The Supreme Court has rejected a lawsuit launched by the Texas Attorney General and backed by President Trump to challenge Joe Biden's election victory. The highest court said Texas did not have enough interest in the matter in which other states conduct its elections. 17 Republican attorneys general and 126 members of Congress had joined in urging the Supreme Court to hear this case. Five News reporter Juliana Clipson joins us live. She spoke with Arkansas's attorney general who joined the support on this lawsuit. Juliana. Now, just moments before this news broke, I spoke with one political science expert who told me it was highly unlikely that this lawsuit would make it to the Supreme Court. I also spoke with the attorney general earlier today, and she was still extremely hopeful that it would. A lawsuit filed by the Texas Attorney General claims Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania exploited the COVID-19 pandemic to justify ignoring federal and state election laws. Arkansas's Attorney General quickly voiced support for this suit. These four states uh, and their votes, uh, if they were not done constitutionally, if they were not done in, with adherence to the rule of law, they could dilute the vote of Arkansans. To support Texas's efforts, Arkansas joined an amicus brief, which Missouri filed with the Supreme Court. Many Arkansans raised the question, is this action by the attorney general funded by the state's taxpayers? And to that, Rutledge says. We have attorneys with the state uh, working on those matters. And because this is a state issue, uh, that we do, but there's absolutely no way to quantify it and there's no way to quantify the importance of protecting the integrity of our election. University of Arkansas professor of political science Janine Perry says it was unlikely this lawsuit would have made it to the Supreme Court. I doubt it will be, um, it will impact Arkansas voters. I doubt it will impact the outcome of the election. It won't impact voters in, you know, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, uh, Georgia, or Michigan. Uh, but it may help Leslie Rutledge um, get the kind of profile she wants going into this knockdown drag out um, event that's coming in 2022. When asked if she hopes supporting the legal action of Texas against these four battleground states and her continued support for President Trump and his campaign will possibly Positively impact her run for governor. Rutledge says this, as well as her other accomplishments as Arkansas's attorney general, will be a platform she'll proudly run on. All of these issues are things that we work on every single day as the state's uh, law firms, as chief legal officer of the state of Arkansas, and that's a record I am proud of and that I will be running on in my campaign for governor. Now, as I said, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge was hopeful that that lawsuit would make it to the Supreme Court. But as you just heard, just now finding out the Supreme Court did reject that lawsuit by Texas's Attorney General. We're live in Johnson covering news where you live. Juliana Clipson, 5 News.